Hello everybody, Pisces here with another video that's actually on Pocked Edition, and that is because I'm on the beta, as you can see there, um, and so this is 1.2 beta, um, so since I'm on my phone, you might notice a bit of a drop in audio and or video quality, um, but what I have is the smallest 3x3 piston door for Minecraft Pocket Edition. And it's 80 blocks, 8x10. Um, somebody did make one in this size before, but uh, the problem with it is that it used a dispenser shooting an arrow at a button, and you have to actually wait for the button to despawn, so it takes a really long time to open, and you're wasting an arrow every time you use it, so you have to refill the dispenser if you run out of arrows. Um, so that's a little bit of a disadvantage. But this one works. It's much faster and can be used as many times as you want to. Um, so now I will show you how to build it. And you can ignore the fact that there's three of them. Um, Plus this over here. This is my third time trying to record it, and I kept running into problems. But, so the piston layout is going to have one piston on the bottom, uh, and then three pistons on each side, like this. And you can place the blocks and break those pistons. And then add a double piston extender on the top like this and then the input will go right here um, and pull the lever because it's one of those inputs that's inverted when you pull it the door is open when you don't it's closed um, I'm actually gonna need an observer so, I don't know why I have monster egg things, <laughs> but let me see if I can find the observer. Still not quite used to this new inventory. Um, let's place a torch, and then a block with a sea piston with a redstone block. Redstone here, a four tech repeater, and a block. And then a sticky piston here. And an observer facing downwards. And an observer right here. Now if you want to, you can place that block back. Um, you're also going to need... Um, where is it? Obsidian. Um, so you want to just place two temporary blocks here with obsidian. And, oh, I actually forgot something. <laughs> you need a sticky piston there, or it will not work at all. So, there's the closing, and part of the opening, minus the double piston extension. So now, place a piston here, block with redstone, a torch, another torch here, Three blocks, redstone, four tick repeater, four tick repeater, and they should be on, but there's weird bugs and it looks like it's not on even though it is. Um, so then place a sticky piston here and you'll see that does extend even though it doesn't look like it's powered. Place a torch there, block, torch, um, and then an observer. And then we're going to need to get some more stuff, but first, um, place an observer here. Let me actually go back to the other side. Um, place one here. Place one here. And place one here. So, then you also need to place redstone here. And what will happen is, when that observer updates, it'll power this piston. Place a block here. 
Put Peter here, Redstone here. And now we're ready for um, Minecart Hopper. Or just Minecart and Pressure Plate. Oh no, I said Minecart Hopper. I also place um, a piston right there. So then they, oh, they changed it. <laughs> they can't do that anymore. Um, so you need a minecart, any form of rail, um, and a fence, and a pressure plate. Then place it like this, and maybe they fixed the bug with rails not connecting. They did. Okay. So you can take your minecart. If you have two rails, you can do this. If not, just place it and break the rail, but you just want to push it into that fence like that. And break the rails. And now it should actually work. Okay, sometimes on the first time it doesn't work. But every time after that, it will. It's like, for some reason, the observer doesn't want to actually uh, give an, an output the first time. But then it will every time afterwards. Hopefully it's a bug that will be fixed when the actual 1.2 release comes out. But as you can see, it is working. And that's really all there is so thank you for watching and that is all bye